nothing compares to Moana's side. The nursing culture is like no other. Everyone is very welcoming. The staff works great together and management and leadership has an open door policy. You can come in, speak your mind, say how you feel, and they're always listening and attentive to your needs and wants. Their priority is having great employee satisfaction as well as patient satisfaction. It goes hand in hand. We are able to offer exceptional clinical care and cultural diversity to the community we serve with um, compassion and sensitivity. We never have to worry about being alone or worried about not knowing how to do something. No one is judging you. Everybody is there to help you. So it's very refreshing to have such nice people around. When I first came here 45 years ago, it was called St. Luke's. And uh, the culture then was one of a family. You know, you walk into the building and everyone is speaking to everyone. Everyone knew everyone. There was really no class distinction. Well, you know, I'm a nurse, I can't talk to you because you're the housekeeper. Everybody worked together. Um, it was camaraderie. And uh, the title has changed, but I believe the culture is the same. And we're working towards making it even better. So I became a nurse because of the instant gratification that I feel when I take care of others. Patients walk in the door, they're at their most vulnerable state, they're sick, they're in need of help. And working as a nurse, being there by their bedside, holding their hands, ensuring them that it's gonna be okay, and making them feel good. They come in sick and leave with a smile on their face. It just warms my heart each and every time. I love it, especially I like working at bedside and taking care of uh, sick people. And when they get better, I feel better also at the same time. There was beauty in being there for somebody when they're at their most vulnerable state. And especially during the pandemic, like you just felt like a superhero all around. So it was rewarding. 2020 was difficult for all of us. A lot of my staff were scared. Uh, in the beginning, there was a lot of uncertainty as to how we were gonna isolate all of our patients and care for them adequately, although it was a very chaotic, very stressful time. The staff pulled together, we band together, we uh, came up with uh, very creative ideas of how we're going to create search spaces. The biggest thing is that our team here has so many um, versatile skills where we're able to adapt in the situation that where we're not used to with our previous experiences, we were able to apply them working with different several types of patients. Um, at each week, whenever the policies and the protocols were changing, our team is very, very um, adaptable. If you have a passion for a particular specialty in nursing, go after it. If it's the ED that you want to be in, we have a new grad program for you. Uh, a, big, a big part of success, I think, is um, having the right attitude, being enthused about the work and where you want to be. I think if I had to do it all over again, I would rather have started here as a new grad uh, I see there's so many opportunities that you could like branch out to and I think that's the advantage of working here in Mount Sinai Morningside. If you want a challenge, uh, if you want to learn something, learn how to be part of community, I would say come to Morningside. And you get the best of both worlds. It's a small hospital, it's a community hospital. It's a teaching hospital so you'll learn from both sides with teaching and non-teaching if that's your interest. We're a cardiac hospital so there's a lot of opportunities for the cardiac institution. It's within the Mount Sinai Health System, so it also gives you opportunities for growth if you decide that you want to go in other areas that we don't offer here. But it's a great starting point in terms of where you would get the best of med surge, you get the guest of cardiac, we do have psych here. So those are some of the things that we offer, and we also have some great outpatient services. We deal with public health, we deal with health inequalities, and I think that we're here to make sure that we can actually serve the population and make a change and make a difference.